everyone, my name is Georgie and I'm one of the podiatrists at Gen Physio. Today I'm going to go through a range of footwear features that differentiate between a supportive and a less supportive shoe. So uh, I've got two pairs of shoes with me today. Uh, one is more supportive and one is less supportive and I'll show you why. So the first thing you want to look out for is a firm heel counter. So the heel counter is this part here at the back of the shoe. And um, if you press down on it, you don't want it to move too much. So you can see I'm pressing quite firmly there and it's not really moving at all. Um, so that's really supportive, which is great. Whereas a shoe like this, you press on the back and it completely folds inwards. So that's probably not going to offer as much support for your foot. The second thing to look out for is some mid torsional resistance. So you want it to resist moving around the center of the shoe when you twist it. So that really also is quite supportive, holds your foot in place while you're walking nicely. Um, whereas you can see with this shoe, you twist it and it sort of completely rings out like a towel. So uh, again, that one's probably going to offer a little less support there. The third thing you wanna look out for is you want it to bend nicely where your toes naturally bend. So you can see there, that's bending at that point where my toes bend, which is gonna really help me through gait. Whereas this one, it sort of folds more in the midfoot. So um, again, that's probably not a great shoe to use. Do want to mention as well that these are just a few rough tips. Uh, these probably aren't suitable for everyone, but it gives you a good idea of what to look for.